Hi. Good morning. I'm sat in the corner of my living room, surveying the sights of a messy living room. Looking at all the stuff that we've got to do. So today is Christmas decorations down day. Luca's playing with his one of his new toys over there, Paw Patrol, thingamajig. Ian's over there doing, what is it? Aqua beads. And yeah, got a load of mess, got a load of decorations to put away. Just, is the pre-Christmas, pre-Christmas, post-Christmas sort out, you know, it's one of those kind of days. I'm actually looking forward to it. Decorations after Christmas, getting down, you know, had enough, got to get, get rid. So that is the plan for the day. I haven't got dressed yet because I want to show you my new jammers. Cosmic Dreamer, and then look at my bottoms as well. And they've got little like moons and planets and all sorts of things on them. <gasps> Love them. These are from Primark. I actually bought them for myself as my own Christmas present because I've been meaning to get these for ages, but I spotted them the other day. I was like, oh, yes, got to get them when I see them. So, yeah, Cosmic Dreamer. I will be getting dressed later. But first of all, let's get some stuff away. Ian's going to do a bit of decorating as well because he's done one wall. Can we see? Yeah, so we can see there. Oh. Oh, oh god, this is tricky. There's the old grey. There's the new kind of creamy white. He's done this bit. Now he needs to do that bit and over there. But we need to get all this stuff out of the way. So, you're right. Got the Christmas crap cleared. Yeah. Got your new dressing going on. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. And a blankie. And a blankie. Yeah. So I did buy a nice little box like to organise ball balls into, but can I find it? No, I can't. So what I'm going to do for now is put all my ball balls into one bag just to get it out of this room and then I have to do a sort out later on in another room when I find all my stuff basically. So let's de ball, ball the tree. Ah, oh, another year done. Thank God. <laughs> Upstairs now, I've escaped. I've put the tree away, decorations are away, done a bit of cleaning, so nearly done on that front, but I need to carry on. But I had to escape because I need to film a sit down video. I'm going to film my 2020 like New Year goals, yeah, kind of video, which actually went live yesterday when you're watching this. I know a bit confusing, a bit like back to the future y, weird, but this is the only time I could film it. So it's all a bit higgledy piggledy, higgledy piggledy. So yes, yeah, so if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below, you can go and have a little watch of that. But now, before I film, I need to tidy my office. It's an absolute mess. It's a dumping ground. It's really annoying me. You know, when it's been building up for days and you're like, you could just feel it. You sat downstairs, like watching telly, but you could feel it. You could feel it like, pulsing away upstairs saying, oh, I'm a mess. So I need to do that. Now I've dumped my Christmas presents in here and I thought, I'm going to show you what I got. It's going to be a, this is what I got for Christmas type video. And I know some people are a bit like, oh, I hate those kind of videos. It's a bit like, oh, look what I got. But it's not like that at all. I just like watching them. So I thought, yeah, you might like watching them too. So that's what I'm going to do. And it might help me actually tidy them away. If I, you know, oh, this is nice, put it away. So I actually didn't ask for any presents. Yeah, this is typical of my family. I say, I don't want anything, I'm fine. And then I just get bits and bobs from everyone, friends, which is lovely and I love everything. But you know, 
<sighs> silly people, silly friends and family. Actually, I did ask for something. I asked for a shark battery for my um, shark hoover. And I now have two. <sighs> Game changing now that I have two. Yes, when I've done one layer of crud, I can then whip out that battery and do another layer of crud. And it, honestly, it's just changed my life already. So yeah, that's what I actually asked for. Ian got that for me. And then he was a sneaky sneak and got me some other things. Anyway, I'm gonna pop you down and let's have a look at what I got this year. So I've got stuff from my friends, stuff from Ian and stuff from my mum. What should we start with? I start with, hmm. So I asked for a shark battery, didn't I? And I saw it delivered before Christmas, like the Amazon man came in with it and it had a battery on the side and it had shark on the top. And I was like, oh, it's my present. And I ruined it and I said, Ian, my presents arrived. He was like, oh, damn it. You've ruined that surprise. So what he did was, he got the box and he wrapped up the box. So on Christmas day I unwrapped it and I thought I had three batteries. But no, little did I know I didn't. I got excited I had three, but I didn't. There was other stuff inside. He was doing a secret squirrel. So what was inside the box, the battery box? <sighs> this. He got me some Clinique. Um, the Clinique ID, dramatically different hydrating jelly. I've had this before, but I've had the blue one. This is the purple one. And oh, look at the price on it. Huh. I know where you got that from now. So this one is the Something like sagging face one, I think. You look a bit tired, love, you need this one, I think. Lines and wrinkles, yeah. What's he saying? I wrapped it, I was like, oh, which one's this one? Lines and wrinkles. I was like, I'm not, I, I, I didn't need it. I thought, right, okay then. So he got me that. Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. It's just, I've just twigged. I think when I went to Bista Village, I picked this up and I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy this. Uh, I didn't. He was a secret squirrel again, I think. So it's Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. Now this I haven't opened yet, but I'm excited. Tom Ford Brow Perfecting Pencil in Torp. Mm -hmm. So a brow pencil, ah, a brow pencil, and then a brush on the end as well. Lovely. What else was in there? He got me a candle. The bee candle, this was from Dalesford, and it is, oh, it smells lush, jasmine and patchouli. Soy wax candle, vegan, blah, 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 lovely. Hmm. Oh, God, it's so good. Oh, I do love a candle. That's that one. And then, oh, I haven't even looked at this, so I was like, oh, oh okay. But it, I think it's a funny thing. Sex tips for husbands and wives from 1894. Let's have a quick read. It's going to be outrageous, isn't it? <laughs> this is a good one to open it up. We're, we've been married, well, we've been together like 12 years or something. By their 10th anniversary, many wives have managed to complete their childbearing and have achieved their ultimate goal of terminating all sexual contacts with the husband. Is he, what is he, is he, is it a message? Hmm, I wonder. And he got me this. It's an angel wing dish. So I thought, oh, that would look good on, um, well, he thought it would look good on my desk, not my desk, my dressing table with all that bits of jewellery in it. What I thought was it would look good on my crystal Instagram page. Yes, I have a crystal Instagram page with all that angel-y kind of ooh, things. I thought that looked nice with crystals in it for pictures and things. Either way, I'm loving it. Thank you. That's it for me. And he got me something else, but I'm not going to show you that until the end because I'm going to show it you and then I'm going to end the video because I don't want to say anything else. I want to show it you and then be like, it wasn't me, I didn't do it, there you go, bye, kind of thing, okay? You'll would, you would see what I mean when we get to the end. Okay, this is what my mum got. I have to whip through because I'm going to talk too long. A little basket-y thing, velvety, with feathery bits. She said this was from Matalan, I think, but I've seen these also in Home Bargain, no, B&M, and I really like them. It's a nice little storage basket. I was gonna say basket and basket, basket, bath, bath, bag. One of them. This is a funny one. So it is bubble bath, glittery bubble bath. And when I opened it, I saw the top bit and it said rose quartz decanter. And I thought it was one of those um, flasks that you can get. So I opened it and I went, oh, 
this the top bit, I went, oh, I really wanted one of these. And then I went, oh no, I didn't. It's not what I thought it was, but it came out wrong. It sounded like, oh, oh, I didn't want that. But to be fair, my dad thought the same as me. He was the same thing. Anyway, I love it anyway, because it's bubble bath and it's glittery. So I'm very excited to have that in my bathroom. I don't know where this was from. Oh, m &S. Next, a candle from Next. Pink Rose. It's one of those jarry type ones you lift it up you know what I mean can't remember what they're called very pretty very nice that would be nice in my living room a to-do list oh yes this one is like a rippy off one which is good it's like perforated at the top and then it has the points on the side and then to go with that some stickers stickers days of the week just to get all organised. This is from, I think both of these were from a place called Neon Sheep. I've never been there before but my mum's been there and she said it's like a better tiger. You know, it's like tiger but better. I've never been to one. I need to find this place and go and have a look, I think. Gold notebook, I think it's just lined. Nope, just plain paper. Handy little notebook. And a lip balm. The EOS one. What flavour? Pink grapefruit. I think that's it for my mum, is it? Oh no, it's not. No, oh no. Hold the phone. Is that even the saying? Hold something, hold it, whatever you're holding. Hold on to it. I've got some other things actually. So I've got some books. First one. <laughs> this made me laugh. Well, they both made me laugh actually. So I'm a bit of a Bake Off fan. I love Bake Off. Well, I love watching it. That's as far as it goes. I watch it and I eat cake while watching it. Not anymore, I'm going to be baking now. My parents bought me this. The Great British Bake Off baking book. So watch out for baking videos coming near you. Oh, I love the smell of new book. Mm, smells like cake as well. So that would be fun, giving that a go. Oh, I really want to go on Bake Off. I might put that on my vision board, this. Put that on my vision board. And I'll be going on Bake Off when I'm a celebrity um, YouTuber. Yes, I'll be the first celebrity YouTuber to go on Bake Off. This, again, made me laugh. So, yeah, it's Mrs Hinch book. I know. See, I'd never buy this myself, but I'm kind of excited to look through it now I've got it, you know? It's like, how hard can it be to get my mop out? Oh, actually, I've got lots of tips here. My best bargs. Does that mean bargains, I guess? Watch out, Hinchy, I'm coming for your job. Then Ian got me this, I forgot to show you this one. Um, do improvise, less push, more pause, better results. Basically, you just wing it. It's a book of how to wing it. That's the general gist, I think. I've read one page, and I improvised and watched Netflix instead. I wasn't in a concentrating mood, so I'm gonna go back to that later some point I need to be in the mood for reading this book I think and then I got a calendar hurrah for gin I love this lady what's her name can't remember where's her name where is she Katie Kirby must be yes so if you don't follow hurrah for gin on Instagram you should it's quite funny if you're a parent that is it's all about why you would need gin as a parent like this Parenthood imagined. Let's go fly a kite. Reality is just all sweeping up crumbs. Oh, it is funny though. I recommend going to have a look on Instagram. Quickly whip through other things. My Secret Santa. Some of it's rude, I can't show you. But what I will show you is mindfulness book, like a piss takey type one. These are quite funny. I like them. And then, this is so sweet. My friend got me some crystals. So it's a little crystal bag and it's all to do with, um, well this little set is for grieving, like a grieving set. So she obviously knew around Christmas time and New Year, it's a bit of a tricky time. And she got me these. I just thought that's such a, I really, oh, it's a new spat then, but I was gonna say it's really sweet, even though I only spat on them. But I felt it was a really nice gift. So I was really chuffed with that. And then she got me these again, which is really thoughtful, little cards of like, yeah, yeah, you do it girl, you go girl, kind of things that, the sort of thing I put on my feed and pin around my room, like, you can and you will, you, you will, you will, can you even see that? You will see it, 
it's like, all like motivational card. But then to balance out the situation, she got me some rude things and some gross things, which I don't really want to show you. So yeah, those were the nice things anyway. Oh, and I've got some fizzy belts. You know, why not? And oh, <sighs> Christmas socks, mince pies before guys. Don't show Ian. Oh, haha, she has the price on. I'll be wearing these all throughout the year, not just for Christmas, socks are for life, not just for Christmas. Okay, that's it, I think. Oh, apart from the item, the item. I'll show you later. Let's get tidying this room and then film my other video. I just need to hoover it now and yeah I've got a lot of organizing to do to be fair but majority of the stuff is out of the way so I can now crack on with my new year stuff spoiler new year stuff means getting more organized I say this every time this is the year yeah it is hello I've just filmed my video and I feel a bit like oh like I've used a lot of energy there, I only sat here talking. Anyway, I need to, well, I was gonna film another video, I've actually got like all my bits and bobs out here. And that is a video about planners and diaries. I've got a load out here and I was gonna talk about them, but it's heading towards dinner time already. So I feel like mum duty is like coming in, mum and we need you. So I think I need to pause and come back to that. But look. Isn't that exciting? That is an exciting sight when you see planners and diaries. I just love diaries and planners. Yeah, I just love it. Anyway, before I get into mum mode and take this top off, I literally just put this on for this video because I wanted to feel normal. And I'm gonna take this off and get back into my pajamas now probably. But I had to show you this. I bought this as like a, I don't know, for like the Christmas period, but I'm gonna wear it all year anyway. It's not necessarily Christmassy. It is a little bit, but I'm loving it anyway. I got this from River Island, and it's kind of like a really soft, kind of furry material. It's not itchy at all. It's just really soft and fluffy. But what I love is the collar. It's not a shirt underneath, it's literally just a collar sewn onto it. And it has these gems, it has the black bow, and I love it. I think with having short hair, and being a little bit on the flat side of the chesty side, the chestness, I feel like high necks with a lot going on, I can get away with. And I really like it. I, this is my vibe. I'm like, yeah, I'm liking this. Although I look a bit like a present. It's like, here's your present. Lucky you. I do, I do really like it. So yeah, I thought I'd show you that. You probably see it again in a few more sit down videos because what I like about this is that you can actually see what's going on right here. You don't have to see my whole outfit. I could be wearing, I could be wearing nothing underneath, underneath, below. It's all going on here, you know? Right, and also my nails. I'm really chuffed with my nails. Look how nice they look. Let me put you down in a second. So I did these last night and although well, you could probably tell that I've done them, I think they look quite chic and pretty and New Year vibes, aren't they? Like I got rid of the dark glitter, I had like a really dark purple glitter on and I've put this on and it's actually two colours, let me show you. It's this one, Essie in Fiji, it's like a really light baby pink colour, do you call that baby pink? I don't know, every time I see a light pink it's, that's baby pink, it's just like a really really light pink and then over the top I put my Let It Bow glitter on. You see that? Oh, isn't that nice? 
but I didn't put it all the way. If you can see, if it would focus, if you can see, I've just put it um, at the bottom bit because I have acrylic nails on and they're growing out and you can see where the gap is where my nails have grown out. So I've just filled that in with glitter and then just go so it's just coming from the bottom bit. Aren't they nice? Oh, I just, I've been just sat looking at them thinking, oh yeah, they're pretty. A bit messy, but you know, no one's perfect. Maybe that's one of my goals for the year is get my nails right. Yeah, that's what I do, is I get acrylic nails and when they grow out, instead of getting them done again, I fill in the gap with coloured varnish or really like chunky glitter varnish so that no one can tell well, I've told everyone now. Right, I'm gonna get out of this. I've put on for like an hour, without human for an hour. Now I'm gonna go back into my jammers and take my face off and get some dinner done. Oh, spooky. Oh, da da. Just gone into the garage. See, I'm in my jammers now, as promised. I'm just gonna look in the fridge. I have a big fridge in my garage and see what's for dinner. We have pretty much every Christmas leftover you can think of. Like this is Christmas, ready? Is that or is that not Christmas on a plate? Like random bits of leftovers, a bit of sausage, sausage roll, bit of ham, there's a bit of chicken in there, lovely. Got to work out what I'm gonna make for dinner. I hate the odds and ends. I'm tempted just to empty it and just, yeah, I want to start again. Oh, I forgot I had this, we hadn't had this. Cornish, Cornish Cruncher Cheese Bake. Well, we've got to eat it, do you know what I mean? We just didn't eat it over Christmas, so we don't eat it now, it's gonna be a waste. Like that garlic bread and, hmm, cheese. Oh, it's telling me to shut up. Do you know what, I like this lighting. I should film here all the time, I put the camera in the fridge. Look, look at that. Who needs a ring light when you've got fridge lighting? Love it. Right, what to make? Odds and ends dinner. A Christmas, New Year, odds and ends dinner until it all goes in three years time. That's what it feels like, doesn't it? It's like. <sighs> I can think of something better to do. I'm gonna show you my final gift. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Show you my gift. And then I'll probably be the end of the vlog. I'm sorry, it's a random vlog, isn't it? So, remember, it's nothing to do with me. I didn't ask for this. Ian was a sneaky, sneaky snuck snuck, okay? Uh, he's been naughty and yeah so because I said the coat I bought the Max Mara coat was my Christmas present you know you all saw it we all agreed didn't we we agreed you know, and said right that's your present this is my present no so here we go please ignore the Iron Man cod piece thing in the background I'm in Ian's office you ready bag. It's a Gucci bag. Oh, look at the bee. So there is a jewelled bee on the front and then if you push its bum it opens and then there's oh, gorgeous. Two compartments, a zippy bit. Oh, it smells lush. It's a really nice kind of like creamy off-white colour. And then it comes with this big strap, which I love. I don't have a bag with a big strap like this. So it's obviously got the cream, the red and the blue. And oh, I just love it. I just love it. See? Versatile. I've been wanting one with a thick strap like this for ages and now I've got one. So there we go. That was the naughty purchase that Ian did. do with do me, it wasn't my fault, so don't hate me, I do, it wasn't me, it was him. Oh, but isn't it nice, I just think, really like that with the strap hanging down, or, you know, like this, more casual, or take the strap off and have it like that, as a bit of a smarter bag. And I don't have a creamy, I do have a cream bag. I don't have, I just, I like it. There was definitely a bee theme this year, there really was. I absolutely love it. So there we go. I'm going to go now, make a swift exit because of the naughty bag purchase. I'll see you in my next vlog, which is going to be, I don't know, a few days time maybe. I know this one was a bit random, but that's what I do. That is what I do. I'll see you next time. Bye.